the Twin Cities. Minneapolis is the scene for the Lakers. The powerhouse combination of Anthony Davis and LeBron James have their sights set on a victory as they ramp up for the raucous crowd at Target Center. Lakers, Timberwolves, we'll be right back after this. It's that time of the year. Happy holidays, everyone, from 2K Sports as we get set to bring you some mid-season NBA action. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony alongside, and our sideline reporter tonight, David Aldridge. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. Look at the Lakers. Things going their way so far in this season. Right now they lead the pack up front in the first spot with the best record. And, of course, the Minnesota Timberwolves, nine games back. And I think for Minnesota, they've been strong at times this season, but they still have some holes. I think they're a playoff caliber team. I just don't think they're a championship caliber team. This has been the thought all along. They have enough to compete night in and night out, but they're not taking four out of seven from a top team in this league. No way. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. Then it's Cameron Reddish. Then it's Russell. And it's Reeves in at the point. And for the Timberwolves. Conley is the point. Edwards plays on the wing. The two towering figures inside for him. Towns and Gobert. And it's McDaniels in at the three spot. And Greg, taking a look at this one here tonight, the clash at the guard positions really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done. And I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. Now here's Conley following the miss by Anthony Davis. Conley finds Towns. And here's Edwards beyond the arc. Good, and as this goes to town. Oh, what a feed right there. Townsend's vision is really off the charts. Outside for Davis. Shoots over McDaniel. And it's Davis missing. And it's Towns with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. It's a three-point game for three Edwards. That one misses. For the Lakers, they won their last contest that game against the Bulls in Chicago. Here's Reeves, over by Conley. Crosses over. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. So it's the Timberwolves now, after the basket by Los Angeles. Edwards kicks to Towns. Back to Edwards. Just five to shoot. Conley with the three. A shot goes in. First shot, first basket. Give Conley credit. He's recognized the need to become a knockdown shooter and put in the work. So it's the Lakers now. This is their first chance this season playing the Timberwolves. Going against a conference opponent, one that outplayed them head-to-head -head last season, a chance for payback. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Edwards kicks to Conley. Right side downs. Conley surveying the D. Passes to McDaniels. Six to shoot. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Finding a man wide open, Mike Conley does an exceptional job of leading this team. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. LeBron passes to Reeves. 
Back to James. Over Towns. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. And talking about LeBron James, Steve, he still is on the hunt for more championships. Kevin, that hunger is still evident. He's all about finishing his career on a strong Shoot note, two. which includes winning as many titles as possible. And that one misses. Well, we know this, Smitty, for the Lakers, as long as they have LeBron James, they're in a win-now mode, don't you think? Yes, Kevin, and why not? LeBron is still playing at an incredible level, and the Lakers are a franchise that only cares about titles. And he sinks the second. One of the greatest players of all time, and LeBron still adds to his game. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Three-point lead. Here's Gobert, and there's the drive. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Minnesota? Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And another thing Coach will be thrilled with, the assist numbers, spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities. The first free throw is good. He's an elite defensive talent in the game. The arms of Rudy Gobert just go on forever. Second free throw, no good. After two consecutive first-round exits, Greg, the Timberwolves are looking to take that next step. And with Anthony Edwards at the helm, I think they will soon. But you have to remember, he is only 22 years old. And when your star is that young, you typically have to endure some growing pains before breaking through. To the left wing, stolen by Michael Conley. It's three on three on the fast break. And so it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. Looking now at some numbers for Anthony Davis. And the past 10 games have been all about his work on the boards. He's been a different guy when it comes to rebounding. He's battling like he hadn't been earlier in the year, and it's great to see that kind of hustle. Outside Conley. Pass to Gobert. Gobert with a screen on Russell. And here's Edwards from the arc. Off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. Here's Reeves. Over by Conley. LeBron passes to Davis. Six on the shot clock. And McDaniels with the block. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? By this time of the season, I think it's fair, Greg, to say we know the identity of these teams. How much are you worried about record at this point if you're a player? And, Kevin, I wouldn't worry about record as much as I do camaraderie and execution. I also look at the schedule up to this point. How has the team fared against tough competition? Now, here's McDaniels. Coming in off a 10-point game, his last outing. Russell against Edwards. From deep three-point territory. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Davis has got his fourth rebound in this one. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. And the dunk by LeBron. The raw power of James excels at taking on physical defense and finishing. 
Minnesota's gone three of seven from three point range in the first quarter. Outside Conley. Out to the wing. Gobert finds Conley. Let's it go from the wing. And he comes up with the deuce. Conley's got five now. Even with a hand in his face, Conley is too good. Keeps his focus at all times. Pass to Reeves. The pass to LeBron. Right side, Davis. Now, here's Reddish. Not a lot of room. And no good his first shot of the night. Missing. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Here's Towns. And he drops it in from the low post. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. So it's the Lakers now. Trailing by five. So looking it over. Pass to Reddish. Let's it go with a three. And another three for the Lakers. Beautiful rhythm off the catch. Cam is a well-coordinated athlete who looks fluid in everything he does. Go Bear, no good. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. Reeves the pass to Davis. James in the post. Towns on him. They get it back. Outside for Davis. Over Gobert. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by James. And that ties it up. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin. Particularly here to start the game. The Timberwolves have gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Edwards can't hit. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. And his rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. Conley, the pass to McDaniels. Outside, Towns. Over in the corner, Edward. And a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. And this is Edwards' game. When he's aggressive in trying to score, it really puts a lot of pressure on the defense. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And he hits the first of three. Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship drought in L.A., just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history. Vanderbilt's checked in for Los Angeles. And he's good on the second. And, and talented in so many ways. Edwards is focusing on two things. The refining of his shot mechanics and the sustained level of engagement. And he nails the third. Lakers trail by three. James looking around. Vanderbilt setting the pick for LeBron. Pass to Vanderbilt. Here's Reeves. Takes the three. Carl Anthony Towns with the rebound. And here is Conley. He has five. Towns kicks to Gobert. Outside Conley. There's the lob to Towns. And stolen by LeBron. Here's Vanderbilt. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Incredible anticipation by LeBron. Kick starts the break. And it's Conley with the ball for the Timberwolves. 
Towns sets the pick for Conley. Fires the three. Towns, no luck. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Pass to Reeves. Out to Russell. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on Anthony Edwards. And the little wrinkles in Russell's game at that time with the sweet up fake. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Shoot two. No good on the free throw. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Niles Reed, he's checked in for Gobert. Alexander Walker comes in for McDaniels. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Edwards. And Jordan McLaughlin subbed in for Mike Conley. And then for the Lakers, Achimura comes in for Reddish. And Vincent subbed in for Austin Reed. Looking at Minnesota, they took the win in their last game against the 76ers. I mean, that was just a great game. Loved watching the back and forth action. Fans on both sides got an exciting show in that one. A shot by Alexander Walker, no good. Now, Vincent, taking a look at the scoring numbers. Right now, he averages about nine points a game. Fires from deep. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. LeBron's got his third assist on the night. Timberwolves trail by three. They swipe it. Vincent's shot is good. Vincent's got five now. Here's McLaughlin. Milton in the corner. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Here's the pass to LeBron. In the corner, Vanderbilt with it. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Yeah, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Timeout called. First of the game for Minnesota. And now a look at LeBron James here. Tremendous numbers for him over the last 10 games. And he sits in the top 15 in points per game. An absolute powerhouse offensively. And his floor awareness is undeniable. As you pointed out, top 10 in assists. And he's great at drawing the defense and making the perfect pass in stride. Timberwolves trail by eight. Passes it to Reed. Milton with it. Pass to McLaughlin. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. And a wide-open look for Hachimura. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. So it's the Timberwolves now. Shoots from the block. And Milton puts it in. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Lakers leading by six. Hey, Greg, even by modern big man standards, Carl Anthony Towns can really shoot the three. Yeah, and the only center to win a three-point shooting contest. Towns has developed a terrific stroke. And he just shoots the ball as well as most of the guards in our league. Anderson, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Edwards comes in for Jordan McLaughlin. 
Here's James. He picked up 27 points in the last win against Chicago. And some of the passes he threaded through the defense were just incredible. He made it look so easy. Now here's Anderson. Here's Alexander Walker. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Pass to Hood, Shafino. Good. Nice job down low. And the Lakers lead by eight. Really good job there. That's the definition of the inside-out game. Fifty-nine seconds left to play here in the first. Hilton the pass to Alexander Walker. Vanderbilt against Anderson. Anderson with the screen for Milton. Connects from three-point range. Milton's got his second basket of the night. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Here's Hood Shafino. James kicks to Hachimura. Good, and the assist goes to James. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Six-second difference between shot and game clock. Here's Milton. Good on the 13-footer. Milton's got seven points. The Lakers with the ball. Six-point game. LeBron passes to Vincent. Back to LeBron. This one for three. Rebound, Minnesota. The Timberwolves have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts. Right around 78%. Throw, no good for Milton. Five seconds left to play in the first quarter. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. Five seconds left to play in the first. With one on the clock. Oh, and the buzzer beaters good. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. And what I love, there was no panic on his part. That's the steady pulse you want in that situation. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Lakers. His work on the glass was outstanding in that quarter. Great rebounding. We'll return shortly. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Lakers. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that hot. And they are also just outworking the opposition in transition. When the break is on, they've continued to find ways to score. So on the floor for the Lakers to start this second quarter... Jared Vanderbilt out there with Rui Hachimura. Then it's LeBron James. Then it's Vincent. And it's Mays in at the shooting guard position. Milton looking around. And there's the pass to Reed. The three. And James pulls it down. LeBron's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Passes it to Hachimura. The kick out to LeBron. Here's Vanderbilt. That three off the mark. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Shot 
shoots from the elbow. Vanderbilt with the rebound. Lakers leading by four. Here's Mays. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Now, here's Milton. Defended by Vincent. A shot by Alexander Walker. No good. Los Angeles has gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight. Nailed five of them. And it didn't take long for Anthony Edwards to cement himself, Greg, as Minnesota's franchise player. He is one of the best young players in the league with clear superstar potential. The future of the Timberwolves starts with Edwards. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Lakers have gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. Vincent, the pass to Vanderbilt. There's the pick. Driving the lane. Back to Vincent. Launches a three. Good on the triple. Vincent's got eight points. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Now, here's Milton. Defense right on him to the wing right side. Here's Anderson, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Way to convert through contact, Kyle, with excellent body control. Los Angeles leading by three. Pass to James. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Hachimura kicks to LeBron. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. He's got ten. You give James the mid-range, you better believe LeBron's making it. Now here's Milton. Defended by Vincent. Pass to Reed from downtown. Bangs home the trifecta. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please. That's terrible. L.A. has gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. The pass to Vincent. Passes it to Hachimura. Now, here's Vanderbilt. 14 points from him the last game against the Bulls in Chicago. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And here's what the schedule looks like for the Los Angeles Lakers. On Saturday, they're off to Oklahoma City to face off with the Thunder. And then on Monday, they'll be facing Drew Holiday and the Boston Celtics. And looking at the Minnesota matchup, that's going to be one where it would take a lot of errors and maybe a cold shooting night for things to go wrong. They just have that much of an advantage over that team. Looking at who's out there now for the Timberwolves. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for Kyle Anderson. And it's Mike Conley in for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Here's Conley, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And look at Conley go right up inside. Masterful job getting the foul on that shot. And you think of height as an advantage in basketball, but, Greg, the versatility at, at such a premium. Can you be too tall in today's NBA? It's a valid question. The, the two biggest concerns for seven-footers are mobility and durability. To move the way they need to puts a lot of strain on those lower extremities. The first one falls. The true definition of a veteran. Mike Conley, an integral part of this team. And it's tied up with that one. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Buster Reddish. Down low. Stolen by Michael Conley. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Here's Milton. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. L.A.'s on 6-12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. And still early in the period. And they're only one foul away from being over the limit. 
Steve, wouldn't you agree the Los Angeles Lakers are one of, if not the most storied franchise in the NBA? Yes, Kevin, the facts prove it. The number one and number two all-time league scorers both captured the record as Lakers. That's history right there. And that drops, so they now lead by one. It's Gobert with the ball for the Timberwolves. They've only allowed five points in the quarter. Now, here's Milton. Tight defense on him. Over in the corner, Edwards. Sinks the triple. Edwards got 11 points. And that corner pocket triple, terrific shot by Edwards from deep. Pass to Reeves. Out to the right wing. Gobert brings the double team. Vanderbilt finds Hachimura. And let's take a moment here to see some of the numbers for Anthony Edwards. Averaging about 23 points per, six assists and four rebounds. But to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Because he gives you someone to build your offense around. You can count on his nightly production. And he knocks down the first one. Chimura heads them both. Conley with it. A 17-point game for him in the win against the 76ers in Philadelphia. It was never all about himself. He came away with a lot of assists in that game and just kind of kept everybody in the mix. And got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. Now the pass to Vanderbilt. Tries a three. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. Love the unselfishness. Not only can Cam create for himself, he can also create for others. And here is Milton. He's got eight. Three. And another three for Minnesota. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Now LeBron. Pass to Reddish. Back to LeBron. Out left to the wing. Lock at six. Lakers working the ball around now. And the shot goes down. Reeves has got his second basket of the night. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. For Minnesota, they've gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five of ten. Gobert dishes to Conley. Out to Edwards. No good on that one. Good work defensively by Hachimura. Los Angeles has gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on three. And while we've got a moment, I'd send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. The Lakers remain on their grind. Darvin Ham says, I'm preaching daily preparation. From the rest you're getting, how you're taking care of your body, sleep habits, nutrition, workouts, recovery, film work, being efficient with your practice time and your shoot-arounds. Winning habits are built daily. Kevin, I'm very tired after saying all that. Back to you. <laughs> I'm sure you are. They actually do all of it. David, thank you for that detailed report. Here's what Minnesota's going with right now. Carl Anthony Towns comes in for Reed. And it's McDaniels in for Shake Milton. And Anthony Davis is checked in for the Lakers. Russell comes in for Hachimura. So he gets them both. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. The Timberwolves trail. Outside Conley. McDaniels finds Gobert. 
outside Edwards. Fires away from way outside. The Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got rebound number seven for him tonight. And for his size and Steve went healthy, Anthony Davis is as agile and mobile as they come. That's his secret sauce, Kevin. He has great size and skill, but his ability to move like a guard really separates him from other bigs. And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. As to Towns, puts up a deep three, and that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Towns has got six points. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Makes it off the glass. And the Lakers lead by one. Boy, he bodied them inside. Davis isn't shy about fighting for it. Here's Conley. Seven points in the game. Kicks to Towns. Launches it. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. This game coming on the heels of their win against Chicago. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road. But they found ways to get their guys good looks. You know what it is. That's good advanced scouting. They knew what they were in for, and they were ready. Now, McDaniels, after LeBron's three-pointer that didn't go. Outside for Davis. No good on the three. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. And Towns throws it down. And forget those threes, Cat. Get the easy ones. Here's Reeves. He's coming off a 10-point game against Chicago. On the wing, James. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot time of out, lead changes. Out. My goodness. And the Timberwolves Pardon. call time here. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Edwards. Vanderbilt's checked in for Los Angeles. Now, here's McDaniels, guarded by Reddish. McDaniels passes to Gobert. Back to McDaniels. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. How about the pass from Gobert, scanning the floor well and spotting his open teammate. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. They'll take on the Thunder at Paycom Center after this one. And that'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. Vanderbilt kicks to Russell. Out to the right wing. Here's Reeves. And a miss there on the triple. Minnesota's gone an even 50% from three-point range in the second quarter. Four for eight. And Davis sends it back. Anthony Davis has a gift, and timing is impeccable when blocking shots. Minnesota in the lead. Conley with it, and it's Reddish picking him up. Bounce pass for Milton. Here's Towns. Nails the baby hook. That's 10 points for Carl Anthony Towns. And I'll tell you, offense comes really easy to Big Cat. Los Angeles has gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. Pass to Davis for three. 
Gobert pulls it in. Gobert has got rebound number five here tonight. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Ned Daniels finds Milton. To the paint. Here's Gobert. The Lakers with the rebound. One thirty-three left to play in the first half. Reddish the pass to Davis. Stolen by Michael Conley. And that's his third foul. The chance you take leaving him in with two. Let's see if they'll sit him now until the half. For Minnesota, they have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit eight of ten. He throw good, Milton. And didn't shoot it all that well from the line in the first quarter. Doing a much better job now in the second, up over 80%. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Outside Conley. Here's Alexander Walker. Scoreless thus far. Towns is double. Shot clock at six. Raw. Here's Russell. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. You see where the size of Russell is such an advantage, especially in that painted area. There's 57 seconds left here in the second. Now here is Conley. He has seven. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Here's Russell. Four-point game. And the pass to Reeves. Back to Russell. Passes it to Reeves. A floater. And McDaniels with the block. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. To the right side. Here's Towns. And Towns throws it down. And this is what Towns is capable of. He's an incredibly gifted offensive weapon who can score at all three levels. Here's Reeves, covered by Conley. Vanderbilt gets a wide-open look. Off target from three-point range. Up in time. No good. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Carl. Impressive start for you. What's the mentality going into a game like this? Uh, just being aggressive. Uh, really played like, really played well at all the first half myself. We're missing All of us are missing a lot of easy bunnies. We're missing layups for us as pros. So uh, second half, if we make those layups, uh, this should be fun. We'll see if you stick to the script. Thanks very much, man. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Did you miss us? <laughs> Stupid question. Of course you did. And we missed you. And tonight we kick off with our midseason focus on power rankings. And when you look at rankings like this, do you put much stock in them, Shaq? Well, I'm more of a mutual fund guy. I like diversification. I didn't know we were going to be asking me about stocks, Ernie. You know what I meant, big fella. I think Shaq's trying to get a hot buy tip or something, man. This is crazy. Shifting gears to talk about the game on hand. Mike Conley showing that he can be a huge difference maker. After all he's done so far, he's going to have a big target on his back in the second half. They're going to throw the kitchen sink at him on defense. For pride's sake, they got to do something to slow him down. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter.
And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Earl Anthony Towns has been sensational. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. Towns and Gobert hold down the post for him. The wing set for him, Edwards and McDaniel. And it's Conley in at the point. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. Explosive leaping ability allows him to play the five, even though he's a little undersized. Timberwolves leading by four. Conley kicks to McDaniel. Pass to Gobert. Outside Conley. Timberwolves passing it around. Just five on the clock. Outside Edwards. Jacks up a three. And James pulls it down. LeBron's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Reddish the pass to James. From six feet, pass to Reed. Here's Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. That's inexcusable defense. You must put a body on Davis or you will pay for it. Here's Conley. Nine points in the game so far. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. The pass to Edwards. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got five assists in the game. Lakers trail by four. The three from LeBron. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got six rebounds now in the game. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Edwards, that's good. And the defense all over Edwards, but he just outworks them and gets to his spot. Here's Reeves. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. Outside, Davis. Picks it out to James. Stolen by McDaniels. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Passes to Gobert. Over in the corner, Conley. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Lakers trail by seven. Here's LeBron. Minnesota with the rebound. McDaniel's got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Conley. He kicks it to Gobert. And there's the feed to Towns. A rebound by the Lakers. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. And finished off by Davis. Bam! When AD dunks it, look at the rim. It rocks. Here is Edwards. 16 points for him. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. And a chance here to see the numbers for Davis. He's been on a remarkable tear this past month. Averaging about 27 points a game, 20 rebounds, and over three and a half blocks. But to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Because he gives you someone to build your offense around. You can count on his nightly production. Now here is Davis. Ten points for him. Reddish with the screen for Russell. Three-pointer. And it's McDaniels with the rebound. This trip is his second to the free throw line in this one. The free throw drops for Towns. 
Towns. And one of the game's elite shooters. And Towns' sweet stroke definitely extends to the free throw line. Timberwolves leading by six. Outside Conley. There's the lob to Towns. Edwards finds Conley. Back to Edwards. Hits it from three-point range. Edwards got eight points here in this quarter. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. The Lakers have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Davis with a screen on Towns. James, the pass to Davis. Back to LeBron. Let's the three fly. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in ten attempts. LeBron is showing he can still dial it up whenever he wants. Put the ball in his hands and let him go to work. And so Conley will bring the ball up for the Timberwolves. Gobert with a screen for Conley. He feeds it to Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. Trying to attack the heart of that defense with great teamwork. Lakers trail by eight. Here's Reeves. LeBron outside. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one is on Towns. A foul won't scare King James off. He gets assertive and takes the shot. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Minnesota. They are making it rain from the three-point land right now. And the coaching staff continues to encourage them to let it fly. They took what the defense gave them tonight, and that was the mid-range. I mean, very consistent from that part of the floor. That one is off. Second free throw, good. Conley with it. He's got nine. Has to go bare. Dishes to Edwards. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Davis has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Now, here's McDaniels. He's guarded closer. And there's the pass to Towns. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. This is his third trip to the free throw line. Minnesota making a switch here. Milton's checked in. And the Lakers also Find making a switch. Chimura's checked in. The free throw drops for Towns. Here we are looking around the NBA. Greg, it feels like there's more parity amongst teams than ever before. No dominant team has been the favorite every year. And that can all change, though, in a heartbeat. Every so often, a dynasty can be born out of nothing. Here's Milton. The Lakers with the rebound. James has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Here's Rex. Gobert with the block. Pretty hard to get that attempt over Rudy Gobert. Here's Reeves. Outside for Davis. From past the arc. He scores his sixth bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. He's an asset in helping space the floor. He has tremendous touch from range. Timberwolves leading by seven. And here's Milton. Nine points in the game so far. Gobert. Off target at the rim. Reddish the pass to Davis. And Davis throws it down. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. And but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. Here's Milton. 
Here's Gobert, and that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Gobert's got five now. Whether you box him out or not, Gobert has the length to make that play. Passes it to Hachimura. And it's off from three-point range. For three, Edwards. Here's Towns. Slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. And you have to account for Towns on the backboards. He is too big to miss. Lakers trail by nine. Now James. 16 points for him. Reddish finds Hachimura. Over Edwards. Drills the baseline jumper. Seven points in the game. And a solid shooter from mid-range. Hachimura with textbook fundamentals. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron James last season passed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to become the NBA's all-time leading scorer. LeBron says, that record was never in my head because I've always been a pass-first guy. So it was never a goal of mine. Kevin, there's perhaps no greater tribute to James's all-around game that he could set that mark without setting his mind to it. Back to you. Well said, D.A., thank you. Now, Milton, following the three-point attempt by Anthony Davis. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. Minnesota calls timeout. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. And take a look at this. Every team loves to have guys like these. Big men who can pass like guards. These are their assist totals on the season. LeBron James, number one. You think of some of the great passing big men over the years, and they are some of the best players ever. I mean, period. I'm sure that's not lost on him. Here's James. 16 points for him. And it's Hachi Murray in the corner. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. LeBron's got assist number seven for him tonight. You know, the attention LeBron James demands left his teammate open there, and he found him. Now, here's Milton. He's got 12. And Gobert kicks to Towns. Here's Milton. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Pass to Hachimura. Lakers working the ball around now. Lock at six. Pass to Reeves. From outside, off the mark. And it's Towns with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. They've led by as much as ten. Conley, the pass to Edwards. Towns against LeBron. Back to Towns. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And now a look at Rudy Gobert here. The last 10 games, he has been on a heck of a run. He's averaging 11 points a game, 17 rebounds, and two assists. But you look at the rebound totals, and it's a big part of what he does for this team. He has veracity down low. He sets the tone for this club night in and night out. And the first one at the line is good. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Some changes for Minnesota. 
Nas Reed. He's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Alexander Walker comes in for Edwards. And Jordan McLaughlin subbed in for Mike Conley. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. Here's May. Still scoreless. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. Here's Milton. Six-point lead. And the pass to Alexander Walker. To the middle. Here's Free. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Playing with good instincts. Nikhil making those around him better. Here's May. Passes it to Hachimura. Here's May. Defended by Milton. Mays passes to Hachimura. Now Vanderbilt. Pass to Davis. Shoots over Reed. Again, Los Angeles. A tale of two halves. He's really turned it around here. Scoring the ball. Minnesota leading by six. Pass to Alexander Walker. Here's Towns, and again it's Minnesota converting. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. Here's Vincent. He's got 11. Davis inside, guarded by Reed. And it's Mays missing. The Timberwolves shooting 45% from the field since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Shots good by Alexander Walker. And it seems as if someone got their signals crossed if he can wind up that open from three-point range. I'm sure that was not a part of the game plan. Here's Vincent following the three by Minnesota. On the wing, Davis. Count it. And with that basket, he's now 9 of 15 from the floor. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting a respectable 47% from the field in this one. Here's Alexander Walker. Good work defensively by Hachimura. Lakers trail by nine. Benson with it. Taking a look at the scoring numbers right now, he averages about nine points a game. Hachimura with a screen on Milton. To the inside. It's stolen by Milton. Now eight seconds separate in the two clocks. And he dunks it down. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go, baby. It is showtime. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. 27 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's May, defended by Milton. The pass to Davis. Rebound, Minnesota. Reeves got his fourth rebound in this one. It's stolen by Hachimura. No good on that one. It's been all about Carl Anthony Towns for the Timberwolves. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Back right after this. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Lakers trail by 11. So the Lakers five right now. Rui Hachimura out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's Gabe Vincent. Then it's James. And it's Mays in at the two-guard spot. Cans it from downtown. 
He has that swag going on right now. When the defense steps back on him, he loves taking advantage of it. Hilton the pass to Towns. Back to Milton. Passes to Alexander Walker. Towns, a screen on Hachimura. Just three to shoot. Here's Alexander Walker. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. From deep, Minnesota with the rebound. They've led by as many as 11 points. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. It's incredible. And I'll tell you what, it's a joy to watch. There's more to his game than threes and dunks. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Polk loose. And it's the Lakers on the break. For the three, Milton grabs the board. And here's Milton. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. Six-point lead. Out to Edwards. Back to Milton. Pass to Towns. Down to five on the shot clock. Edwards passes to Alexander Walker. Nailed from three-point land. After putting up zeros in the first half, he is making up for it big time now. LeBron left side. And they double up James. Here's Vanderbilt. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Matching baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Outside, Edwards. Pass to Reed. Now here's Towns. He's feeling it. That's a miss. His fifth eight made field goals. Lakers trail by six. James, the pass to Vincent. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. So it's the Timberwolves now. And the Timberwolves time out, time out. call time here. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, Sorry. trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Kyle Anderson comes in for Carl Anthony Towns. And Mike Conley is subbed in for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Austin Reeves is checked in for the Lakers. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I listened in on what Chris Finch was talking about with his players. Now, Coach told his guys it's not over until it's over. He asked them to stay sharp out there and to keep fighting. If we lose this, it's on us, he said. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Inside. And here is Milton. Six to shoot. Shoots over James. And the shot is long. Just strong work. Defense will be there in the low post. you got to be tough down in the paint. He did a nice job of keeping him off the block. Didn't let him get deep post position. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It goes on Kyle Anderson. And such a physical player inside. LeBron doesn't fear contact on the way up. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Smart ball handling from them in this one. Passing around to get ahead of the defense and putting it in the hands of ready shooters. And on top of that, they've really been dialed in from deep. Just dropping triple after triple. Polk 
free throws. Good from James. Minnesota's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. To the inside. Green. And the powerful one-handed slam. And that bucket should stop the bleed. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Outside, James. The shot from 20 feet away. A rebound by the Timberwolves. It's Edwards on the wing. He's covered by Hachimura. Edwards, that's good. And he's a true inside-out threat. Edwards wants to score from everywhere on the floor. Vanderbilt with the screen. Here's Reeves. Yep, right through the net. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here is Conley for three, Edwards. Vanderbilt with the rebound. Vanderbilt's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Now LeBron. They set the screen. Back to Vincent. Here's Reeves. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Milton kicks to Anderson. Down low. Reed gets the bucket. Reed's got four points in the quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Los Angeles has gone 4-6 from beyond the arc in the fourth quarter so far. Vanderbilt a screen on Milton. In the corner, it's James. Stolen by Reed. Now here's Conley. Defended by Vincent. Conley the pass to Edwards. Conley sets a screen for Edwards. Shoots the three. Vanderbilt with the rebound. Vanderbilt's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Reeves. A miss that time. Would have put him up. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Timberwolves. A two-point game. Getting himself to the rim, Anderson continually finds ways to impact the game. Here's James. There's the pass to Vanderbilt. Hachimura against Edwards. It's stolen by Edwards. And now the Timberwolves on the break. On up the court. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You saw the talent from day one in Summer League. Anderson's one of those guys who can really get it done in a lot of different areas. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. Go Barry's checked in for the Timberwolves. Carl Anthony Towns comes in for Shake Milton. And then for the Lakers. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Vanderbilt. Reddish comes in for Hachimura. And it's Russell in for Vincent. Good on the second free throw. Great job there to make this a two-possession game. Lakers trail by five. Here's Reeves. James. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Edwards got rebound number five here tonight. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one.
Conley with it. Pass to Towns. Six on the shot clock. Alley oop trial. That's tipped. Here's Davis. Here he goes. If you can't shoot, it's easy for the defense to cut off angles to the rim. But AD can't, and boy, did he rock the rim. Pass to Towns. Rebounded by the Lakers. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Got that one, and the Minnesota lead has been cut down to one in the bucket from Russell. With a gentle touch inside. Russell really improving as a finisher. Minnesota's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Now here's Towns, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Davis. First free throw is good. Tough. He's just so hard to keep off the foul line when he pushes the action. I love his activity here in the second half. Daniels is checked in for the Timberwolves. And Towns drops them both. Lakers trail by three. James outside. Outside for Davis to tie it up. And Jen shot, and James gets it to go. LeBron's got 10 points here in the second half. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Now here's Conley. Towns down low, working on James. And it's Towns missing. Los Angeles has gotten eight shots off from three-point land and hit half of them. Russell passes to Davis to take the lead. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Those are the plays Davis is capable of making. Much more confident and stronger than what he was when he came into this league. Falls for Davis. 80, one of those bigs that shoots well from the line. The Timberwolves trail. Oh, here is Edwards. Towns the screen. Fires the three. Offensive rebound. And James picks up the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And that fourth foul, guys, might force him to scale back the aggression from a defensive standpoint. He does not need, nor does the team need, number five. And here's Gobert. Pass to McDaniels. Shot clock at five. Towns sets the pick for Conley. The Timberwolves again can't hit. The Lakers shooting it up around 51%. They're getting good looks. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's on Jaden McDaniels. A solid shooter with good all-around skills. Cam Reddish is tough to anticipate defensively. First one drops. A versatile wing with a good overall skill set. Reddish has a bright future in this league, and I think his peers would agree. Both 
free throws, good from Reddish. Yeah, and their free throw shooting has really improved here in the second half. To the paint. Here's Towns, and that one falls, coming off Conley's feet. That's now 26 points for Carl Anthony Towns. The Lakers in the lead. Here's Reeves. Kicks it to Russell. Stolen by McDaniels. And now the fast break. Edwards with the ball. Pulls up for three. Conley's shot is off. Los Angeles has gotten eight shots off from three-point land and hit half of them. Over to the wing. Here's Rex. Trains the three-pointer. Reddish has got five points in the quarter. Big-time play. Cam Reddish stepping up to the plate. We know he has the talent to do so. Edwards looking it over. Conley kicks to McDaniel. Back to Conley. Shot clock at six. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. Drives from 16, and Davis pulls it down. Davis has got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. They get it again, and finished off by Gobert. Gobert looking comfortable stepping into the spotlight right now. And here's the Lakers. They're on a 14-6 run. Towns against James. Davis in the corner, a baseline J, and the Lakers check on two more. As the stakes start to rise throughout a game, your stars have to rise to the occasion. Big shot by Anthony Davis. 130 left in the fourth quarter. Now in. Towns a screen on Russell. Here's Edwards, and Davis sends it back. to the hoop and Davis throws it down he moves so well for a guy his size when AD attacks good luck stopping him 110 left in the fourth quarter every second counts now they can't wait around and I don't think they will the problem is they've waited too long to make a move oh here's Edwards Towns a screen on Russell here's Edwards and Davis sends it back and a deep three from Russell. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And so it's Minnesota with it. To the middle. Edwards drawing the double team. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Minnesota calls timeout. They're trailing by seven. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Conley for three. Reddish grabs the rebound. Here's Los Angeles now. They lead by seven. Seven second difference. Shot and game clock. Now the pass to Russell. High post, Davis. Lock at six. Down low. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Davis has got the lead up to nine now for the Lakers. Anthony Davis is one of those players that can single-handedly win games for you. Conley with the three. Unable to get that one. And so the Lakers take the win. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time, G.A., this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. 
Thanks very much. Here with Anthony Davis. AD, what sparked the run down the stretch? Defense. We gave up too many points in that first half. Um, we came out in the second half and just defended. Able to finally make some shots, and we just grinded. Guys made big-time plays on the defensive end, and we were able to come out with a win. Thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it. Back to you. Thank you for that, David. And that about wraps it up. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we leave you with our New Balance Player of the Game, Anthony Davis.